Hi beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well today we are going to try products that I got from my friend Valerie in a box swap. So if you haven't seen that video I will link it down below or put a card up here so you can watch that one and you can also go to her channel and watch her video where she uses opens my box. Unfortunately some of the stuff from the box that I sent to her was stolen because the package that arrived to her was actually opened on one side and a lot of stuff were missing but I will I contact the post office and we'll see how far I can go about that but um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so if you are an old subscriber welcome I'm very happy to see you and I'm very happy to see you all new on my channel too so let's just stop talking and let's go into the stuff Yeah, I'm very excited. Now, before I start, I want to talk about the product I've been using for a couple of days. Uh, she sent this um, gel cleanser to me that I have used. Oh, why can't you? There you go. I have used this a couple of times and I really, really enjoy it. Sorry for my nails, guys. I'm going to do them today. Um, actually, after the after this video. I've used these two. I've used this like uh, two or three three times a week and I really 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 enjoy these. These are beautiful and these are going back on my wish list. I want more of that and I've been using one of these beautiful water or what is it called setting sprays or sprays face facial sprays. I like this. What I've been liking is I it smells really nice. I like using this after I've been moisturizing or exfoliating my face. I have more of these, um, what's called the setting sprays, but today I'm going to use the matte one. So I'm going to put this one here and I'll actually, uh, this is one that I've used. Okay. I'm going to remove the other stuff. Okay, so I got uh, this watermelon glow pink moisturizing hyaluronic glow recipe the so name of this product i got this one and i know smooth the seas for a month onto the skin after serum morning and night that can also mix with foundation okay so that's after of the serums okay so i got also this hyaluronic acid eye cream i'm going to use uh, that one too uh, I'm going to use this one. So let's use the eye cream and this glow recipe serum. I do also have, oh, it's full. I like that. I haven't moisturized or anything. So I'm going to put this one back in here. I do have another eye cream that I'm using, but you can never have enough. I, I took a little bit too, it smells so good. Fresh, took a little bit too much. Oh. Oh, it feels nice. If we, I think this will be perfect. Oh, it's a little bit cooling. If it was also cold, that feels really nice. I'll also go in with this one. I'm not going to mix it with my foundation though, but this packaging is so cute. I'm so sad that a lot of stuff. Oh, I forgot to. Hmm. I wanted to use the hair removal. Well, I'll do that in another video. I wanted to try the hair removal thing. I can try this one on my hair on my face. Doesn't matter if I moisturized. Let's just forget that I moisturized. So let's see. Where is my mirror? Mirror, mirror, on the wall. There's so many stuff around here. Okay. So we'll see. I'll just try to remove some. Oh, it's working. It's the loud, but yeah, it definitely works. So yeah, it works. That's nice. Love it. I like that. That's nice. Always good to have. And this sank into the skin really fast. 
Okay, so I do have ooh, another setting spray. Should I use this one? Yeah, let's use Milan instead today. Okay, we have a primer, Instant Prime Activator, Hydrating and Brightening Primer from Joa's Beauty. And it looks really, really nice. So we'll use this one. Mm, it smells fresh. It looks like a cream. Okay. It also feels like a face cream, like a thicker face cream. It feels really nice. It feels dull light. Smells fresh. I like that. A little bit sticky, like it should be. Uh, I have also this one, color switch or shadow switch sponge. I will use that too. Okay, so I got two foundations. One is the Meet Your Matte Velvet Foundation from Colab, and the other one is Skin Wonder Real Skin Finish. Uh, I think I want to go in with this foundation today. This is in shade Shell 0 so it does have SPF 15 real skin finish nurturing foundation I hope this will be a good match oh ooh, there's a nice oh that's thick looks to be a little bit too light but we fix that with some bronzer is that with some bronze? I don't know. I probably apply too much. We'll see if I need more coverage. It's definitely thick. Okay, so it looks like I don't have a foundation on my face. I mean, it sank into the skin, looks really nice, but I feel like I need more coverage. So I go in with a little bit more. So it went on nice. I feel like it, it's obvious that I have foundation on. It's sitting okay. Um, and here on my chin and on my nose, it looks like it's just sitting there on my face, but I don't know if it's the primer or if it's the foundation, but sometimes you know, the foundation and some primer don't work with each other, but this looks okay. It looks okay. Let's move on. I'm very excited to be able to try One Size Beauty, and uh, we don't have it here in Sweden. This is the Concealer Light 4 with neutral rose undertone. Exactly what I like and what I need. So let's go in. Oh, maybe a little bit darker than this foundation, but fix that. Uh, the color is a little bit darker than the foundation, but this is spreading really nice. It feels like it feels like I don't have any concealer, if I have to be honest, and it's definitely covering a lot. Oh, I really love the concealer; it looks really good. But I am going to go with another concealer just to brighten up the under eyes a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty concealer. This is in shade Marin uh, 04. It's a little bit lighter. Just a dot, not too much. I really like the coverage of the One Size Beauty. It really melted into the skin, looks nice just that the shades are not matching, so I just want to make it a little bit brighter. But we'll use um, another powder to make it brighter. I like the concealer. I really enjoy the concealer. Ooh, I'm so happy that I have it. Uh, usually I go for darker foundation, so it will match perfectly with my other foundations. Okay, I like that. Now when the foundation was sit is sitting on my face a little bit, it looks so much better. Okay, but it's definitely medium coverage. 
I don't have a br uh, bronzer, but I am going to go in with my cream bronzer, Tarte Cosmetics, just to bronze. Use a little bit of the bronzer. Yeah, this looks dark, but it will look so much better when I blend it in. This is blending into the foundation really nice, the bronzer. I am also going in with some cream blush, going to Kaya Cosmetics. This is in shade Cupcake Glaze. Just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Powder under my eyes to set the concealer and make it a little bit brighter. So while this is baking, we are going to go and fix the eyebrows. And I did get the eyebrow product. Mm. I got this Joa Beauty Brow Pencil, Precision Pencil. Oh, there you go. We are going to use that. I have powder everywhere. This is in... Um, Cool blonde, which is usually not my color, but I hope it will s look good on me. I hope it's not too light because I really, really want to use this product because Valerie, I saw that on Valerie's video and she really enjoyed this pencil. Okay, so it's a little bit brighter than uh, my eyebrows, so I wish it was just a shade deeper or too, but it works. It works uh, here in the beginning of my eyebrows, uh, but I like it. I like the pencil. It looks nice. Oh, my nose is itching. Mm. I like that. Okay, so what do we have in there? So we are going to remove some the powder. So I'm going to use these Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep that Valerie sent to me in an earlier box. I don't remember when it was, but I do have this one in lighter shade, but we are going to use just to set the bronzer a little bit and to use products from Valerie. Okay, I'm also going to use a blush and I'm going to go in with this Buxom in um, Wanderlust in Dolly that Valerie sent to me. I think this is, could be a year or two old. I love blushes, so I do go in heavily with blushes and bronzers. We are going to use a um, Joa Beauty highlighter and I have it in Jelly Bomb Highlighter in shade, I think it's Crystal Glow Jelly Bomb Highlighter in JC, oh, I don't know, here is the, I don't know, I think name of the highlighter. Ooh, I like, I love Job Beauty. We don't have it here, so I feel really spoiled. Oh my god, looks so cute! It looks so beautiful. Oh wow, I don't know if you can see it, but that's that's a nice highlighter. Let's use a brush. I have powder everywhere. Everywhere. Ooh, it's that uh, more glittery but it looks really nice. It's blending into the skin. Oh, I like that. I don't have anything like this. Oh, I like that. Ooh, nice. Thank you, Valerie. I love it. Okay, so I am going to use uh, my eyeshadow primer and I'm going to go in with Urban Decay just to set my eyelids a little bit. Okay, so I do have plenty of um, eyeliners that she sent to me. Um, I have plenty of these, so I don't know which one I will use. I think I will go in with, uh, let's see, this one from Cover Girl. 
let's go in with this one. What is it like? Um, like um, what's called eyeshadow. Okay. Oh wow, that's really pigmented. It's blending really, really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, thank you. I do have also. This liquid from Stila that's in shade Spellbound and it was when I swatched like a um, pinkish black so I'll try to use this one a little bit on my hand and see if we can use it somehow it's like with the brush So I'm just going to go in with uh, matte eyeshadow to blend the edges a little bit. Going in with this Huda Beauty, uh, Huda Beauty, no, Natasha Denona balance, just to blend the edges a little bit. I think this looks nice. I really think this looks nice. Okay, uh, but we are not finished. We are not finished with the eye look. There is another pencil that looks to be very similar shade to this cover girl but we are going to use this one see if it's a lighter shade because i want to let's just watch this one and the cover girl they're really similar similar but I feel like cover girls are a little bit lighter, so we are going to go and use the cover girl again on top. Oh, I love this color. And we are going to go and use this in the waterline. And on the lower lash line. So I do want to blend it. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, let's see what do we have more. I have more of these liners. I have a blue one, black and white. We can use white and maybe use this black one to use like an eyeliner. This is a really smooth pencil. So I'm going to use like a pencil here and blend it a little bit. Because I don't want to straight the fine line. I think this looks cool. I really think this looks cool. Okay, I want to use the white one too. This white. We're going to apply some here in the corner. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. Let's blend it. We have like a blender on the other side. I like that. Okay. And then I have a lot of mascaras plenty of mascaras and I have no idea which one to take. I have four I think from Believe Beauty and let me volumizing dramatic full lash false lash effect. That sounds good because I'm not going to wear any falsies today. Oh but I got this also from CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. Oh no let's go for this one. Okay so I'm going to set everything with this Maybelline that I got, the Maybelline Make It Last Matte Setting Spray. 16 hours. Mm 
Oh my god, this mister is mist is everything. Wow. Smells also nice. Okay. I really love the makeup look on the eyes. I really love this bronze color and this kind of dual chromatic black and purple. It kind of looks cool. I like that. Ooh, okay. So we are going to go in with the with lashes and the lipstick. We do have lipstick. But we need to curl our lashes. And let's go with this. This is the High Drama Fiber Mascara Intense Black. Tiny fibrous coat lashes to create full, uh, to create lush, full dramatic look, false lash effect. Believe beauty. It's purple, looks cute, and let's go with that. Intense black. Uh, I like this fiber mascara. Sometimes they do flake on me, but not all of them. So it's it's going to be interesting to see this one. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see. It has uh, this kind of brush. So this is one coat. One coat. Can you see any difference? It looks really nice. It looks nice. Okay, let's go in with the other eye. So this is the mascara with two coats. So it does make my lashes look full. I don't know if it makes them longer, but it definitely gives them like that intense black look. But I like it. I like the mascara. I hope it won't flake. Okay, so we have a lips. And for the lips, I do have a couple of products. I do have three of these. Oh, I won't even try to pronounce lip glosses from Maybelline, I think it's, yes, from, uh, from Milani. And I have the Pixie, Pixie Lip Lift, Glossy Lip Plumper in shade Honey Sheen. So I do want to use these. Let's swatch them. I have swatches everywhere here. So let's swatch this shape. Oh, they look good. Kiss from a rose. Oh, that's a beautiful shape. This is Kiss from a rose. And the second one is Hella Fresh. That's more of that red color. Oh, I like that too. They, look, they smell nice. And then we have the last shade that it's called F uh, Funny Pack. Hmm. This is, these two last, these two kind of look similar, though this one is more red. Hello Fresh, and this is Funny Pack more pink. But I do want to go into this first shade here. I'm not sure which line I will take. Let's take the first one I grabbed. This is Daphne from Natasha Denona. It's a little bit too bright, but let's go. This one's nice. Mm. This is so moisturizing and feels nice on the lips. It is a little bit of that heavier, um, stickier consistency, he sticky kind of glossy gl gloss, but it looks really nice on the lips. I do want to try that um, plumpy too. Let's go in with that, the other one, plumpier. My lips feel moisturized. I'm going in again with this lip liner. Let's go. Oh, I like that. This looks nice. Let's see. Let's swatch it here. That's like a nude color. Can't really see it. Oh, it smells minty. Usually the plumping glosses do.
Mm, yes, I can feel it tingling on the lips. Okay, guys, my hair looks like a mess, but this is the full face, almost full face of the product that I got from my friend Valerie. And I really enjoy the products. I love the skincare. I enjoy the primer. It looks good. The foundation it looks really nice now on the, on the face, now when it had time to sit. And it looks really smooth, like I have a filter on. I don't have any filter, so you can see. And I really love the eyes. It turned out much better than I thought. The mascara looks nice. I hope it won't flake. The concealer looks nice. I like the concealer. Uh, I like all of the products. Highlighter is really, really good. Ooh, I like I like it. The foundation is a little bit lighter, but I'm going to mix it, uh, mix it together with other foundations that are a little bit too darker for me. But I really enjoy the products. Thank you so much, Valerie. Everything is beautiful. I have plenty of these setting spray to use and go through. I really enjoy them. I'm actually going to go in and spray more of this Radiant Beauty Water. This smells so nice, so good, and it, I really like it to use it after exfoliating masks on my face. But that's, this is everything. I hope you like it. Go over to Valerie's channel and watch her video where she tries the product from this box that I sent to her. Unfortunately, like I said in the beginning, there are plenty of products missing, but hopefully next time everything will come to her. I did pack everything good, but unfortunately, uh, the, the people from the some post office stole the products. She still got some products that she really enjoys and likes, so go over to her channel and watch that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And there are plenty of products here, more mascaras and liners that I haven't used, but I'll definitely, um, when I use them on my channel, I'll definitely let you know that, that those products are from Valerie. Guys, Thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye. Ooh, I do want to go and touch up with uh, this shade, Hello Fresh now on top of this one. Mm, that's nice. Cute. Bye.